BITBOY says, Ripple XRP will reach $10,000 on this day. U.S. Representative Brad Sherman recently advised the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, to go after crypto exchanges that supported Ripple's XRP token. However, in a recent interaction with Fox Business journalist, Eleanor Tourette Sherman made another claim against the token. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. In a recent tweet, Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, expressed his outrage at the growing number of fraudulent bots on the popular platform. In addition, he can't believe that he still needs to report his copycats to the Twitter support service. He added that there are many verified fraudulent accounts on Twitter. These fraudulent accounts use the name of Garlinghouse, Vitalik Buterin, co-founder of Ethereum, and Chongpeng Zhao, CEO of Binance, to write fraudulent cryptocurrency tweets. The CEO of Ripple is still waiting for some action, while a huge number of fraudulent accounts are using the platform. He also shared the email he received from Twitter. It mentions that a registered account does not indicate a violation of their identification policy. These fraudulent crypto accounts and Twitter bot responses have been noted by some crypt analysts and experts. These accounts posed as Binance CEOs and sent spam on Twitter. While Garlinghouse's image and name are used to distribute fake XRP tokens. Twitter, the social media giant, is embroiled in a lawsuit against Elon Musk over the rejection of a $44 billion acquisition deal. The richest man in the world claims that the social network provided inaccurate data on Twitter bots. It mentions that there are many more fake accounts running on the platform than the company estimates. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has filed several lawsuits against various firms and individuals for violating securities laws. In addition, Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC, made various statements about the regulation of cryptocurrencies. Attorney John Deaton has repeatedly accused Gensler of his loose interpretation of the Securities Act. In an interview with CNBC, Becky Quick mentioned that the chairman of the CFTC said they should regulate some cryptocurrency-related assets along with the SEC. She added that the Securities and Exchange Commission has developed some precedents and cited several examples of people agreeing to settle a dispute with the agency. She added that these steps confirm that the SEC should have more control over the industry. To this, the SEC chairman replied that everything is clear in the law. He claims that based on the facts and circumstances, most tokens are securities. At the same time, he added that when a group of entrepreneurs collects money from the population and they all expect to profit from it, they need to disclose it. However, John Deaton, a lawyer who has amicus curiae, friend of the court, status in the XRP lawsuit, expressed concern about this statement. He said the SEC chairman is wrong about this. Gensler ignores two basic requirements stipulated by the law. Firstly, it ignores the general requirements for a common enterprise. Secondly, the SEC chairman ignores the non-investment use of tokens. If it is not acquired for investment, it is not a security. He added that the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission is literally poisoning the public with cryptocurrency. Earlier, Deaton's lawyer commented on the SEC chairman's new interpretation of cryptocurrency regulation in the Kim Kardashian case. As a result, the American celebrity paid about $1.26 million in fines to settle the case. The lawyer added that the commission no longer speaks of cryptocurrency as digital securities. This term was used in the Ripple and Library case. Now the SEC chairman calls them crypto securities. Unexpectedly for everyone, Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission publicly filed petitions for summary trial over the weekend, although they were expected only today, September 19, 2022. Breaking. Ripple Labs, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson file motion for summary judgment seeking judgment as a matter of. Breaking. SEC files motion for summary judgment. The parties filed the petition separately in the Southern District of New York.
The SEC built its argument on the premise that buying XRP in a joint venture makes the cryptocurrency an investment contract, that is, a security that should be regulated by U.S. securities laws. In addition, the SEC claimed that Ripple lured many investors to buy XRP, making them believe that they would make huge profits in the future, thereby implying that the cryptocurrency is a security. On the contrary, the defendants, Ripple, Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse, said that regulators could not prove that investors bought XRP, relying on the company to help them make a profit, since there was no agreement. According to Ripple's lawyers, token holders usually profit from the asset due to the forces of supply and demand. Based on this, XRP holders have no right to claim profits from Ripple. In addition, they cannot accuse the company of any violation if it does not profit from XRP, Ripple added. Ripple executives and observers of the case have already expressed their opinion on the petitions filed. According to Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, it is obvious that the SEC is not interested in applying the law in this case, adding, they want to redo everything in an unacceptable attempt to expand their jurisdiction far beyond the powers granted to them. By Congress, today's filings make it clear the SEC isn't interested in applying the law. They want to remake it all in an impermissible effort to expand their jurisdiction far beyond the authority granted to them by Congress. Ripple General Counsel Stuart Alderati also commented on the developments, saying that the SEC has not yet identified any investment contracts after two years of litigation. The SEC cannot satisfy a single point of the Supreme Court's Howey test. Everything else is just noise, Alderati added. The day is finally here. Our motion for summary judgment is public. You can view it here. Similarly, attorney Jeremy Hogan, a partner at the law firm Hogan Hogan, said that the Securities and Exchange Commission is now in big trouble after a recently filed motion for summary judgment. I just read the summaries, and the SEC has a couple of big problems. One, her expert agrees that most of the changes in the price of XRP are due to market forces, not Ripple. The Securities and Exchange Commission has failed to record that any of the XRP buyers have heard Ripple's alleged marketing pitch, a big problem because it has the burden of proving everything here. Video tomorrow. I just read the briefs and the SEC has got a couple big problems. 1. Its expert agrees that most of the changes in XRP price are due to market forces, and not Ripple. Ouch. These types of concessions are perfect for summary judgment. Next court dates. Ripple has almost a month to file an objection to this set of petitions, and it is expected that the summaries of objections will arrive by October 18. It is expected that the answers to them will be received by November 15, by which time all the briefings will be completed, and the judge will wait for the final decision of Torres. James K. Phelan predicts that on March 31, 2023 or earlier, Judge Torres will simultaneously make a decision on the petitions of experts in the decision in summary proceedings. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1,294,436,065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4.08% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end, if you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.